Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, we would like to share with you an entry from the Exorcist Diaries by Monsignor Stephen Rossetti, entitled Exorcist Diary No. 237, Angelic Powers in an Exorcism. One of our afflicted persons has been particularly violent in sessions and needs strong restraints. At one point, he managed to break free and started to swing his arms wildly. The exorcist was justly alarmed and prayed aloud, quote, I ask the holy angels to restrain this man until we can secure him, end quote. Immediately, his arms dropped to his side and remained motionless until he was restrained again. After being restrained, he again began to thrash but was safely secured. A particularly gifted individual told us that we have at least one angel from the angelic ranks of powers at each of our exorcism sessions. Of the nine choirs of angels, the powers are of the middle rank, higher than the guardian angels, and they, quote, order how what has been commanded by God be carried out by others, end quote, including protecting from evil spirits. She said we have up to eight angelic powers present in a single session, depending on the size of the demonic cohort. At one point, we addressed these angelic powers as warrior angels, and we were given to understand that they prefer to be addressed as defenders. It is demons who are the aggressors. God's holy angels are defending against these evil attacks. These powers are naturally all strong-willed and very protective in the best sense. When given a vision of these powerful angels, they appear muscular, strong, imposing, and somewhat taller than a guardian angel. Their role is to protect what belongs to God and to keep out other demons that try to enter. Thus, in our exorcism sessions, we explicitly pray for them to surround us and protect us. They are also actively involved in casting out the demons. For their weapons, they typically appear with lances or swords that are the, quote, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, end quote, or Jesus Christ, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. Exorcists should invoke their assistance at every session. We have been doing this explicitly with great effect using the St. Michael prayer, as well as the breastplate of St. Patrick. When it comes to the section in the breastplate, quote, I bind this person today to the virtue of ranks of cherubim, in obedience of angels, in service of archangels, end quote. The exorcist repeats this phrase many times, imploring the help of God's heavenly army. Exorcists tend to focus on the presence of demons in an exorcism, since their ministry is directly to cast them out. However, good angels are present in every exorcism, and their unseen presence is vital and a consolation.